all right guys so let's talk about how you can export a window and a door from 3d studio max this is a quick tip just in case maybe you're doing your architectural design in 3d studio max and you know you can make use of all the available sets of doors and windows that we have here but a big problem you might fall into is when you export this to twin motion you find out that once you apply a material it applies to the entire thing so let me just quickly create a door here so i'm going to use the door as a second example for what we want to do let's scale this door a little bit like this okay so for these two examples we already have a window here which is a sliding window and we have a door which is also a pivot door so the first thing i'm going to do now is i would go ahead come over to um come over to the modify panel and i'm going to simply attach an editable poly okay so just click and add an editable poly here i'll use the element to simply come through and select a chunk of this so i'm just going to select this entire thing or you can just select here and then we're going to go ahead and detach this so let's just make this happen real quick i'm selecting this i'll scroll all the way down and i'm going to detach that element i'm also going to do the same thing for this part of the object and simply hit detach so now i have basically uh three different elements for the door i'm going to go ahead and simply export this two together so that we can see what it looks like when you have splitted materials and when or splitted objects and when you don't have splitted objects so i'm just going to simply go to file so let's import this object in I'm just going to click here and simply select on zoom to selection and the next thing which i would like to do is just simply scale this object a little bit lower and let's drop it to about 0.3 and let's zoom right into that selection so i'm going to go over to the material which we have open here already and one thing to show is if i choose to select this and apply onto this because they all have the same uh, material it's going to apply to all of them so what you need to do first and foremost is to simply click on this button and say apply to object and when you click on the apply to object you find out that because we have splitted this material it applies only to this part of this object for this one that we did not split i mean because we've split the the mesh for this one we didn't split the mesh you see it applies to the entire thing so we've split the mesh of this and that's why you can see it applies only to that part i'll go up one bit and switch over to something like wood and we can just simply assign that wood to that or maybe something like this something like this and maybe finally something like this so we can have all of this type of uh stuff attached to it but for an object like this that we did not split once we drag this material it applies to the entire thing so my big advice is once you're coming out of uh, 3d studio max to twin motion and you created your doors and your windows there i would advise you to simply use the editable poly which you can use to simply split these objects apart and then once you export them out to twin motion you can change the colors and uh, the materials as much as you want so if you have any comment or questions about this please drop them in the comment section down below i may be making regular tips like this sooner or, or later in the, in the week or maybe in the year but if you have anything that you want to know about this app you can find links in the description you can also check out the channel and you're going to see tons of stuff like this which we've done before and until i see you guys next time peace